Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about the three-way matching process in Odoo 17. Three-way matching process is the way of reconciling the key documents while purchasing the item. And this is used to identify the fake vendor bills. And three-way matching allows to ensure that you are paying for the right amount with the right product received with the right quantity. This can be easily explained through an example. Just imagine that you have just ordered or purchased bulk quantity and cross-checking these items is not possible. In such cases, you can use three-way matching where this would allow you to check you are paying for the right amount with the right quantity received and you have received the right product. So uh, let's see how we are going to manage three-way matching in Odoo 17. If there is any mismatch with the uh, document, then Odoo will generate an exception by using three-way matching. So let's check that. To manage with the three-way matching, let's move on to the purchase module and from the configuration settings, we can enable the feature three-way matching. So three-way matching ensures that you only pay bills for which you receive the goods that you have ordered. So once you enable this field or this uh, feature, you have to save the changes in the configuration settings. Now let's move on to the orders and let's create a new RFQ. So you can just create everything from the scratch by filling the details of the vendor. And you also need to include uh, the product which is cabinet with door. As you just get into the internal link of the product under the purchase tab, you need to ensure that you have set the control policy as based on received quantity. Because we know that three-way matching is a process of matching the three key uh, documents, which is the uh, purchase uh, order document, then uh, the received uh, item should be same as the, that of the ordered quantity uh, or the demanded quantity and the created bill also uh, contain the exact quantity that we have demanded. Okay, so uh, all these have to be same, then only we can just uh, match the key documents uh, of the RFQ. Okay, now let's move on to the RFQ that we are dealing with and let's change the quantity into 8. And you can save the uh, RFQ and confirm the order. Now we have just confirmed the order, we haven't received the product. Now you can just confirm the receipt date from here so that you can see that the vendor is currently confirmed the date that is the expected arrival of the product is confirmed over here now still we haven't received the product so we cannot create a vendor bill so what happens if you try to create a vendor bill without receiving the product you will get an invalidation operation like you will get a wizard showing that there is no invoiceable lines so in order to create a vendor bill make sure that you have uh, received the quantities okay now we are going to receive the quantity so you can just click on uh, receive product so that you can uh, receive the quantity. So here you can see that the demanded quantity in the RFQ is 8 and the quantity that we are going to receive is also 8. So you can just validate this process. So um, order basically provides three options in three, three way matching process Okay, that are um, should be paid as yes, should be paid as no and an exception. So uh, should be paid, yes, will be always concentrated in a situation where the demanded quantity, the received quantity and the quantity in the bill are same. Okay, so first we will be explaining with uh, should be paid as yes. Now let's move on uh, to the purchase order and let's create the bill. Okay, and uh, here you can see that the demanded quantity uh, was 8 and the received quantity is also 8 and uh, the quantity that we're going to bill is also 8. So you can just confirm the order. Um, here we need to set the bill uh, refund date, which is mandatory. You can set that and yeah, when you just move on to the other info, you can see that order will automatically set the three-way matching process to be yes, because all the key documents finally matches. So we have to make payment for this order. And let's confirm that. Okay, and you can see that um, Finally, we can just uh, create the payment. So after reconciliation, the payment will be moving to the back. Now we'll also discuss the other situations. So let's create a new RFQ from the scratch. And let me uh, choose uh, the vendor as Abigail Peterson. 
and here you can just use the product cabinet with door itself where you can set the quantity as 10 okay now let me save this and confirm the order so here you can see that the demanded quantity is uh, or the ordered quantity is 10 but due to some reason uh, maybe the out of stock of the items um, we only received 5 quantity so here we will change the quantity into 5 and let's move on so here you can just validate the process so when you try to validate the process either we can create a back order or no back orders which means um, if you need that of rest of the five quantity very urgently you can just create the back order so once the product is i mean product came into the stock we will get that product okay and uh, if we don't want to create the back orders just forward with no back orders so that we have to just forget about the rest of the five quantity so i'll be moving with no back orders and you can see that the demanded quantity is 10 and the qu uh, quantity that we received is 5 now uh, let's create the uh, bill for this so when you just move on here you can see that we can create the bill so cre click on create bill and here you can see that currently the bill quantity is 5 but let me change the quantity into 10 and you can see that there is a mismatch in the uh, key documents where the demanded quantity is 10 the received quantity is 5 and the quantity that we are going to bill is 10 so we could find a mismatch in the documents so when you save this and confirm the order yeah yeah we have to set the bill date which is mandatory and you can see uh, we can just save this and uh, confirm so when you just confirm that under the other info you can see that Odo will automatically detect the mismatch here that is the mismatch in the key documents and the state of should be paid will be set to exception because we know that the demanded quantity is different from that of the received quantity and the build quantity so Odo uh, shows the fake vendor wills or uh, paying for the um, not receivable items uh, can be easily found from uh, three-way matching process this means that Odo notices the difference but does not block the changes or display an error message since there might be a valid reason for making changes uh, to the draft bill now let's make the payment so once the payment um, has been registered for the winter bill then a green banner will be displayed and this should be uh, state I mean should be paid field will be set to no uh, manually which means this should be uh, should be paid status field is automatically um, set by Odo however the status can be also changed manually by clicking the drop down uh, list so here we can just forcefully change this should be a uh, state to no as we could find the difference or mismatch in the winter bill as well as uh, in the uh, document uh, that we uh, have generated for the demanded quantity and the received quantity so as there is a difference in the key documents uh, that is a, a difference in the three key documents we can forcefully change the state to be or should be paid as no afterwards you can save this and let's uh, review the purchase order and under the other info you would be able to find that the billing status will set to waiting bills as uh, we know that the uh, three documents or the key documents are uh, mismatched um, as we just uh, have analyzed so using the three way matching process we can just identify the fake weather bills as well as um, the that also ensures that the demanded quantity the received quantity and uh, the built quantity are equal so if there is a mismatch uh, in uh, these condition we can easily identify that using the three-way matching process three-way matching is a process of finding the fake winter bills as well as the mismatch while generating the documents while purchasing the items so hope this concept is clear for you as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video